got in, you get out. <laughs> Guys, no. Uh oh. I screwed up and I bought the wrong ones. My guess. Towards the farming gravel pits. Can you just pass me a little bag? So it's just a fer it's just the fertilizer attachment. Yeah, it's all silver thing. I've never liked oh. anyways. Tell me how you really feel. I've had a few breakdowns in the last 24 hours. <laughs> Only breaks when you use them. Doesn't never Plenty. breaks in the shed. Plenty of that works. It's like a tire is only flat on the bottom. Good morning, you guys. I didn't vlog yesterday, but Mark was in the fields all day. We got rained out once, just this random cloud that came over, but he was able to uh, able to go pretty late last night. So I think we're a couple more days, and I think we'll have corn actually in the ground, which is weird. Today I do have Carissa, and we are going to vaccinate my mature ewes. And most of them get the Tazvax, Clostridial Protection. Um, and I may have some younger ewes that are still on Glanvax. So I'm just grabbing both out of the fridge here. Uh, going through the comments on my last video uh, on that new system, uh, many were very lovely. And you're right, probably if I run them through a few times before I actually do the job, I'm wondering if, especially ewe lambs, uh, I bet they would go through better i mean i see that across the road with the with the lambs when i weigh them every week every week they get so much easier like they basically go through themselves okay we are going to bring them up the alley we're only going to bring about 30 at a time and we'll run them through and then all we're going to do is we're going to just let them run through a couple times just to get used to it and just just for me to see even if they fit well or if i have to adjust the width of that squeeze shoot I'm just getting set up with Carissa. I've got my Gallagher. Very much like I did all by myself, but we're gonna do it with two people today and see if there's see if there's a difference in handling. Um, probably just the fact that I ran some through is gonna be nice. Anything earlier than 2019 is gonna get treat is gonna get vaccinated with Tazvac. This stuff. And then anything born at 2019 or later is gonna be vaccinated with Glanvac much like my uh, ewe lamb group the other day. So what we're gonna do is Chris is gonna scan the tag so I can see when the ewe was born and then I'm gonna be the doser. And then when I'm done needling, she's gonna do the lice treatment. So we're both kind of got our roles kind of planned out here.
Okay, we got the second group. We're gonna run on through just like we did the first one. Just it made it so much easier. I may have to adjust this because I think it's too narrow for a really big U. Um, so there's some bolts on the other side. I'm going to just check out. So I'm not for sure, for sure, but it, there's a couple bolts here and this looks adjusted. This looks to, like to be the only adjustable place for this, unless this is what we need, Chris. So that's the only other thing I was thinking. Because this is, this contraption I think is the actual squisher. But we'll try this first, because I think I have the right tools. Oh, or should I move? I oh. know, because if you move that uh. down, you have to move that. Well, maybe we try this part first. What am I doing? Okay, I stopped cursing at it and got it to finally work. So I did put these guys right there. I put it up, up a notch and it looked like it got wider. So we're gonna just try one notch and I'm hoping that works. And if it doesn't work, I'm getting a drill because wrenches took forever. Okay, we found the sweet spot. We had to uh, loosen those bolts off two more notches and then Big Mama made it through no problem, but that was pretty touch and go. So we're gonna run them through for good measure one more time. Okay, you guys, uh, so we had to make a few minor adjustments between the U lambs and the mature U's, and the one being I actually just widened this out a little more, because I do have a couple bigger ladies that I had to get through here. So it is a, t a couple little adjustments on those arms at the back. There's two of them. There's lots of little notches. I moved it up four notches, actually, uh, to make that go out a little bit further. And then once I did that, they, they went through no problem. It was so much better running them through a couple times first. It was actually a little fun just watching them get used to the system. Um, a lot of you uh, have, have asked like, why don't I put straw on the chute here? Well, I haven't because eventually they track enough uh, manure and stuff that it's not as shiny now. And, uh, and the black is literally covered in manure now from their dirty feet. Really, the first one's always kind of the hardest to get up, and then once she's through, the rest usually go. They balk a little bit just at the beginning of, of the ramp, but for the most part, uh, once one goes, they were all going. The third group moved the best. They just they just went through like tickety-boo. Uh, the actual job went really, really nice. It'd be a lot faster with an auto-doser, so I will have to get a new one of those. I just didn't have one. And uh, if I could... It's got lots of stuff that I could I could put my Gallagher up here. I could like make things a little more so it's stationary all in one place now that I'm doing all the work here. Before I was moving so much that I couldn't have a stationary spot for stuff. I think if I can put everything here, um, then I think that'll make it a little nicer. And I believe this unit too comes with a scale. Uh, and 
I'm not really sure if it's a chip skit, like if it would read the chip and do all the things, but uh, we'll have to see. If I can hook up my gallery to this, that'd be pretty sweet. So all things in the, f in the future, I just want to make sure the nuts and bolts of this is something that I like and would use. And, uh, and so far it was pretty good. Well, that's not ideal. Guys, no. All right. Well, looks like I have to fix a hinge and reweigh lambs I had all ready to go. Ugh. Chris and I had this all done yesterday morning. Uh, we had 33 lambs weighed and ready to go for today. I'm probably loading lambs here in a couple hours. And they broke down the gate. So I quickly got a drill and drilled in a new hinge. Uh, the hinge has been gone for a bit, so it takes something like this for me to actually remember to do it. Uh, so now we have a nice brand new hinge, so those gates should work a little bit better. Keep these lambs in. So hopefully it won't take too long. We got them all. We just brought them in this, through the center alley. We're going to rip them through again, and anything 105 pounds or over are going to go in like literally. As soon as we're done, we're probably going to pull up the trailer. Wow, we got five more lambs actually, so I'm kind of glad we redid, we redid those weights. Um, now, if you remember, I had that one uh, ram lamb that was ready like, I don't know, a few weeks ago, but it had ORF and I had to leave it. Uh, it was ready to go last week, but I didn't have a big enough load, so I had to keep it another week. It's 157 pounds and it was four months old on the 23rd, which was last Friday. So it's just nicely over four months old and it's 157 pounds. So uh, the average of the whole group was 111, which again, uh, like one of these, like some of them were born in January. It is crazy how good these guys have grown. Um, so yeah, I'm, we're just got, this is the setup here. So we're gonna run them in through this little area here. And then hopefully if all goes well, They'll just go one up, one by one up the ramp and into the trailer is the uh, the goal. So I'm just waiting on Krissa, and I think I hear her car. She's getting her she's getting her muffler fixed on Monday. There's my big boy right there. You're so big. Look how big he is. gonna call you. <laughs> How many bags do you need? Uh, what's left? Four. I made you supper. Thank you. <laughs> Getting too old to sit in traffic cabs. Oh, I talked to Jack tonight too on the way home, or when I got home. He's good. So they gave him a going away gift. Oh yeah? I'm like, oh, that had to feel pretty good. Like, yeah. And he said his, his course load's pretty light. So he's like, if we need, if we want anything, just keep him in the loop. I said, well, we'll let you get your feet wet next week. See how you're, because he's 50-50, I guess. Yeah, like some of them, I don't know. I probably will be living in this career once. Back in and again.
One field left. Two, technically. Well, one, Three. one farm. Right? One farm. One farm. Three fields. There's three fields there? Oh, the little fields still got plant headlands, so it's like, it's like a field to me. Oh. Because if you got plant headlands, it's a field. There's like nothing left after you plant the headlands. Uh, it's seven it's acres, so. Little triangle. Is that it for tonight? Uh, yeah, I like to stop when it's like still somewhat lighted. It's nice. I'm a little tired. Cool. Maybe go turkey hunt in the morning. Two beans. No, it's corn actually. <laughs> What are you guys doing? What? Getting seed. Uh oh. This is getting torn down today. Yeah, 10 4. What would we do? Oh, right there. Thank you. Good morning, you guys. It's Thursday. These bottle lambs have been weaned for since Monday. I think Monday, Sunday or Monday. And what I typically do uh, is leave the water running through the hoses for just for a few days, so they get used to water and no milk. Uh, but this is what happens. They just play with the nipples. So I'm going to actually tear down this all today and get uh, and just get this moved moved out of the way somewhere somewhere where I can find room for it. I've had a lot of requests that people haven't seen my boy in a while. He's doing well. Billy's doing amazing. He does a lot of sleeping, and napping, and eating. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm hoping he's resting up because this weekend should be the last uh, the beginning of the second cycle of these guys breeding. So if you remember, uh, I put the rams in with these ladies just over two weeks ago now. I think. Am I right? So they'll be they'll re they'll be removed next week. Um, so I'm thinking there should be starting to have some action uh, Saturday or Sunday or something like that. The first the first ones if they're not pregnant and if um, if there's if their cycles are strong enough. This time of year can be a bit catchy, um, just because we're getting into longer days, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping they're already pregnant, but there's quite a bit of paint still. Well, you guys, I've been uh, kind of trying to put these hinges back on uh, on the wall. They've just corroded the screws that I, I had some cement screws on and they've just, uh, the, the screws have corroded out. And yesterday I tried to start uh, replacing them and drilling new holes, but I'm just on an awkward, the screws and the holes, I'm not getting the right set here. So Mark gave me some hex screws to try out because they're a little bit thicker, but the problem is 
I can't get the rod in that hinge if there's too much in the way. So I'm gonna try them and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then I'll have to take them out. Okay, here are the old hinges here. So I've had cement screws in it, but they've just corroded off. And these ones just don't, I got these ones on, but they're not, oh, they seem to be kind of snug right now, but they're not in real great. Ta-da. So I'm gonna take these out, throw these ones in. But I'm afraid by the time that goes in that hole, is it going to stick out too much that I can't get a rod in here? But we are going to try. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Those are tight. Those are snug. So yeah, the hole was just a little too big for the screws I was using. All right, so now the other question is, will a rod, oh yeah, sweet, awesome. Okay, let's hook up this gate. That makes me happy. They uh, they work really nice. I finally have a good hinge, so hopefully I won't have any lambs trying to break through. The one thing I have to admit, uh, I bought these stainless steel gates, I or aluminum gates. There was this style, and there was a style with mesh on the bottom, and I think the ones with mesh, they had these in stock, so I just was like, oh, these will be fine. I'm having some buyer's remorse. I really wish I got the gates with the mesh on the bottom. Uh, what's happening is, if they think they can get through, they try. So what happens is when we're moving these sheep, when I'm trying to use these as a push gate, they are brutal. Uh, they knock me right over because they really get their heads in there and that gate's so wide, it's 14 feet wide, that they really get me off balance and then they literally push me over. Uh, so I'll show you what I did, it's ridiculous. I actually put a tarp on this. This is the one, the main one we use for pushing. And it, it helps, but I have to keep it, I always have to keep it like way away from the sheep because they start eating it. So this is not ideal at all. So I'm really wishing I bought, and I bought quite a few of these, so it kind of sucks. Uh, I could likely see if I could take them back, but I think, I think I'll probably still use them as gate dividers once I get more of these hinges fixed. So that's today's mission is to fix as many hinges as I can, but um, I screwed up and I bought the wrong ones. I finished. I got all the, I think there's one missing and I think we used it for a gate we were using for the outside door. But other than that, all of the rest are fixed. And now I have working gates. I reinstalled that hinge there, that hinge, and reinstalled the first one you guys saw. 